Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Salty Roots. It's Joe, thanks for checking out another video. Today we're going to do a quick update on the 300 gallon, which by the way, I noticed today Glass Cages actually posted a reel that I created um, of that tank and they posted it on their Instagram. So head over to Glass Cages LLC on Instagram and you'll see um, uh, the reel that I created for this tank that we're about to provide an update on. So. Um, did quite a few things here since the last video when you saw the tank, you know, be brought downstairs and set up. Um, since we've added some fish, some cosmetic updates like a lid, a box to hide some of the cords. Um, and then I did decide to throw some lights um, on this tank. At first it was going to be a Fowler tank, but I decided why not? Let's throw some fast growing coral in there with some, you know, cheaper lights. So I did go with some black box lights off of uh, Amazon. So you'll see that as well, but it's been a few weeks, so I just wanted to provide you with the latest and greatest, um, specifically on that tank. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let's check it out. Some GSP, some Xenia, mushrooms, anything like that journey they have, just super fast growing, easy to keep coral, so I can put it into the um, 300 now that I'm going to get some 
of these black box lights coming in tomorrow and just grow super fast coral um, so that, you know, I don't even care if the um, fish eat it. Pablo's got super glue stuck to his lip. He's gonna hate this. Design. It's a lot sleeker than I thought it would be. Looks really nice. Looks like really good quality. Uh, a lot heavier than I thought it would be. But it looks really nice. So I was trying to measure exactly where the middle, since I have an you know unfinished ceiling, it should be pretty easy to mount these to the ceiling. What I was trying to do was measure the exact same distance on all the beams, that way I could, you know, mount all of these screws at the exact same place to make it nice and even. But when I look at, like on Amazon, the actual like item on Amazon, when you scroll through the pictures it shows a pole, and then essentially you hook these onto the pole, um, which is what I think I should do, right, because then once it's on the pole, you can slide it to be, you know, exactly where you want perfectly over the tank because, of course, I'm going to measure as much as I can, but it's never going to be exactly where I want it. So with a pole, I can, again, put it um, exactly where I want it, you know, this way, but I will, of course, have to measure um, the pole out so it's, you know, mounted to the ceiling in the exact right spot. But as long as I can get that in the middle of the uh, tank opening, all right, so I'll measure the back to the front, take the middle, and then put the pole straight in the middle. And then I can hook those clips onto the pole and just slide it and, you know, adjust or have it exactly where I want it to be. So I need to get a pole. I'm an idiot. Hooked it up wrong. These two are supposed to be like this, not like this. <laughs> <laughs> 